today we are doing another first impressions. Um, I really enjoyed doing my last first impressions and I thought I would scour the drugstores and see if I could find something else to review. So what I came up with is the Maybelline Master Contour Palette. It comes with a contour shade, a blush shade, and a highlight shade. And we are gonna put it to the test and see how the colors are, see how the pigmentation is, um, see how easy it is to blend, which I'm really curious to find out. Open up the palette. And you got your three colors, but then you also have this brush, which let me take it out of this little plastic packaging. I don't really, it's so small. I don't really know what it's supposed to do. I'm not gonna use this, I can tell you that much. But I will say, at least it's not like, it's got like somewhat of a handle to it for you to use. It's not like one of those tiny little, so I'll give them that, but I'm not gonna use it. I just don't want to. So I picked up this palette from Target. It was $8.99, um, and I will say, be careful where you buy this from because I've seen it at like Walgreens and CVS for $12.99. Um, so I'm really happy that I picked it up from Target because it was, what is that, $4 cheaper? It's like $4 cheaper. Um, so be mindful of where you pick this up at. Definitely compare prices because you want to get the best deal that you can. And I'm going to say like $8.99 for three products is really not that bad. Um, so I guess there's not really much else to say about it. Let me see if it tells you how much you get product-wise per, uh, it just says 0.17 ounces. I guess that's divvied up between all of them. So all together you get 0.17 ounces in here. And then it has a shelf life of 24 months, meaning from the point that you opened it, it'll last two years without going bad. Um, so yeah. Let's just, let's just get it started. Oh, and it's helpful because on the back it has um, like where you apply certain, which products that are in here. So if you're not really sure, if you're new to the whole contouring game and all of that, it tells you where to put, put each product. So that's nice. I don't know which brush to use. Uh... Okay, cheeks are dry enough. So I'm just gonna take my Zoeva brush. I'm going to start with the contour shade, which is the one I think I'm most curious about. Dip my brush in because I'm very specific about my contour shades. All right. right off the bat, the pigmentation is really nice. As you can see, it's already deposited a bit of color. It blends pretty easily. I will say it does look like it's going a little bit patchy down here, but I think I can fix that. I don't know if you can see it on camera. And the one thing I will say about it is that this is the palette for light to medium skin tones, um, the number 10 palette. And then they have one for medium to deep skin tones. I will say this contour shade is a little bit more on the warm side. It's a little bit more of a red tone. I prefer a ashier tone with my like contour shades just because I am so fair that I typically think it suits my skin better, but I don't hate this. We're giving it a shot. I don't hate it. I'm not mad at it. We're gonna keep using it. Go on to the other side. So that side blended a little bit nicer. So maybe this side was just powdered better than the other side. Blend it up. I'm most curious about the highlight because I feel like it's really hard to find drugstore highlights that are good. I mean, I say that, but I don't try a ton of drugstore products because I typically am not very happy with them and then I just feel like I'm wasting my money. But I'm trying to give them a chance. Oh, okay. What? There's a soccer game starting right now, United States versus Iceland. If you guys didn't know, I'm obsessed with soccer. I live in Orlando, Florida, if you didn't know that. Um, I just moved back home for a while so I can save up to like go travel and all of that. And um, uh, we got a soccer team here, Orlando City. Woo! And I'm obsessed, my whole family is obsessed. Well, not my parents, but me and my brother and my sister, we're all obsessed with it. We love to watch the games together. I will say, I don't know if you can tell, but I will say on my forehead, I feel like 
it went a little patchier. Oh, maybe that's just my freckles. Uh, it's hard to tell, but I'm not mad at this contour color so far. I feel like I'm a little bit more sculpted. Okay. Now we're gonna go in with the blush color, which seems to be a nice kind of like rosy pink. So we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna use the blush brush that I always use. Red. Tap off any excess. Okay, that is pigmented as well. So that's good. Okay, not mad at it. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm very impressed, Maybelline. So far, I haven't got to highlight yet. <laughs> Brush hair. Wasn't even in my mouth. Why did I do that? Okay, okay. Okay, girl, okay. Not bad. All right, moment of truth. Highlight color. Getting our, our brush ready. This is just the Zoeva Lux highlight. This is the shade. Upon first glance, it seems like it's gonna be a good color, but the question is, how's the pigmentation? That's the test. All right, let's go. Okay, it's a little, a little chalky. All right, ready? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, so my camera just completely died and I don't have like a separate battery so I had to charge it and anyway, we're back. So we're gonna continue on with the highlighter which I'm pretty much feeling myself right now. So I'm just gonna take a little bit right on the tip of the nose. And then bring some up the bridge. Cupid's bow. Cupid's bow. I like to do a little bit on chin and a little bit on the forehead just because it kind of gives a little bit more dimension. Alright guys, so this is the Maybelline Master Contour Light to Medium Palette. This is what it looks like all used together. Uh, I'm absolutely living for it. I think it is amazing, really good pigmentation. I would just say make sure that um, your cheeks, if you are more oily or if you just did your foundation, make sure that your foundation is completely set or that you've powdered just to make sure that the contour color and the blush and everything doesn't get caught and go patchy. Other than that, I think that this is beautiful. I think this is like one of the only drugstore products that I actually really, really, really love. Like there's some that I'm like, oh yeah, it's great. I like it, you know, I'd buy it again. But this I'm like really impressed with. And I don't know if it's because I didn't have like super high expectations or like I wasn't sure how it was gonna go that now I'm just like, yes, this is amazing. I just really like it. I really would highly recommend you going out and picking up this if you are in the market to have like an all-inclusive palette. This would be really good for traveling. So if you're gonna be traveling soon, it could really work out because then you have, you know, everything in one little palette if you need it. But I really like this. Um, I think that it's great. And for $8.99, I don't think you can beat it. Just make sure that you pick it up for a reasonable price. So check your pricing at your local drugstore in Targets and Walmarts and stuff like that um, to make sure that you're getting the best deal on this that you can because prices are different and certain stores and yeah i hope you guys like this leave any comments down below of uh, videos or first impressions that you want to see me do like specific products and stuff like that i know um some of you already have told me some things that you'd like me to review um drugstore was on the list so gotcha there um but i love doing these videos so please 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 leave things down below for me and um luxury drugstore anything 
Uh, I really, really like things that are like luxury that most people don't really think about, like not the cult products. Um, I like to buy those things and I often do. And, um, so if you guys have any of those that you guys kind of want to see or you're wondering about, please let me know. I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to leave you with, don't forget to check out my Instagram, which is being violet. Um, and please follow me there. And if you guys are new to this channel, then please subscribe because I'd love to have you. I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.